In your health news today, MU School of Medicine researchers believe they found a potential cure for type 1 diabetes. Type 1 or juvenile diabetes is an autoimmune disease that doctors usually diagnose in children and young adults. KOMU 8's Rebecca Neath shows us how the potential cure works. Continue rotating the cell grow and they produce the drug. Habib Zaguani has spent 12 years at the University of Missouri researching autoimmune diseases. Now he has a potential cure using bone marrow cells and a new drug. The results, however, were not what the team expected. We were expecting a different result. In simple terms, the bodies of patients with diabetes don't produce enough of the hormone insulin to control blood sugars. The treatment works by repairing damaged blood vessels that go to the cells that produce insulin. So if we just fix the uh, blood vessels by stem cells, then uh, they will connect to the residual beta cells or their precursor and restart the process of reproduction and proliferation of beta cells. And that should uh, perhaps uh, uh, cure the, the disease. The next step for Zaguani and his team is to create the human version of the drug so type 1 diabetics can stop using products like insulin pumps and blood glucose meters. The team is working on reversing type 1 diabetes but not preventing the disease. It is not like viruses where we, we know it's coming, it can infect everybody. Uh, for the type 1 diabetes, you can have the susceptibility genes, but you will never develop the disease. The researchers have to secure funding before they produce the human version of the drug. Then, pharmaceutical companies will evaluate it through clinical trials. Rebecca Neth, KOMU 8 News, Columbia. And of course, that approval process could take years to even reach initial testing. For more information, though, on the research, check out our website at komu.com. Another health news.